You know, at this point, just sample. If you see if you find a Maryland darter. Odds are not good, um, uh, because I think there's been a lot of effort in these tribs, uh, and it hasn't been seen for 21 years. We have some hope because um, we have a new gear that's out there and has been pretty good in collecting small bottom dwelling fishes. In terms of our stream health assessments that we do all throughout the state, we're really, we aim for some of those smaller fish because they really tell us a lot about uh, the health of the, the watershed upstream. This place was particularly special because of this fish. This is really, when we say one of the rarest fish in the world, really one of the rarest fish in the world. We're losing things that are really, that, that make certain places unique and special, okay? Like here, we had the Maryland daughter lived in this creek and only a couple other creeks in the world, in the entire world. Uh, Rich was the last person to, to do a, a, a serious survey for Maryland darter um, back in the late 80s, and he was the last to observe it in 88. But you also notice at the same time that there was a lot, of more, a lot more sediment in the water at that point in time, and the abundances of all the other darter species that he was observing in, in this riffle right down here, um, you know, they weren't, it was a lot lower. You know, if I was to speculate what has happened here, it really does have a lot to do. It's just the human influence of the changes to the landscape that we make and how that, what runs off the land now, really pollutes this stream and other streams just because we're doing so much of that. There, there may have been an influence on snails and other invertebrates that live in this stream because the, the darters were no longer eating them. There probably were fish that ate Maryland darters. There may have been uh, lots of uh, animals that, that fed on Maryland darters and depended on Maryland darters for the things that they do. And it probably did does have a cascading effect throughout the stream. So what's happening is all the streams are, are looking very much the same. And we're, we're losing that specialness about certain places.